Hello folks, this is Ayat Naja from InspireToRise.com and today we are going to unbox and review the Zebronix Max Pro Mechanical Keyboard. It is one of the best keyboards in the budget segment of below 4000 rupees. So guys, let's begin. The Max Pro is a full size mechanical keyboard which means that you also get a numpad. It has 104 keys for the best gaming experience and it has RGB LED backlight. It's a heavy duty keyboard at around 1.3 kilograms it's one of those keyboards that even while you are doing really heavy fragging and killing people left and right in the games that you play you won't be able to move it too much and that's a good thing. It has got a braided cable, retractable stand, 12 integrated multimedia keys. 5 LED speed modes for that rainbow color effect which looks really great when you are playing in the dark like me. The keycaps are suspended double injection mold ones and the overall touch and feel feels quite good. If you compare it to something like a budget keyboard like the TVAC keyboard, it's definitely a better experience. A lot of gamers know that mechanical keyboards have a significantly better life than the normal keyboards and they are quite better to play games also. Especially if you can get something like this on a budget price that makes it cherry on the cake. You can select any LED light mode from the 18 available light modes which include the game, wave, snake and more modes. The LED light brightness can also be adjusted up to 6 levels. There are 5 LED speed modes also. The cable length is 1.8 meter long, it's quite strong braided USB cable. The keyboard also comes with rubber feet for stability and you can use the retractable stand to change the angle. The key lifespan is rated at 50 million times. That's quite a lot but if you are a really heavy gamer like me, I think that you would finish the whole lifespan in 2-3 to three years. But I think that's also the period of time which is okay for a keyboard to last. The key travel is 4mm plus minus 0.2mm, key pressure that it supports is up to 55 grams. I hope that you don't start jumping on the keyboard out of excitement. The power consumption is 5 volt, around 350 mA. It supports Windows, Linux and Mac platform. And to switch between the different LED modes is quite easy. Just press the function plus insert button for the three modes. You can change by pressing this combination. The backlit colors change in the following order, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, violet and white. To save your configured mode, press function key plus tilde key once. To increase or decrease the brightness of the LED, you can press function plus up down arrow key. And there are a lot of other options which can be easily done. So guys, the Zebronix Max Pro Mechanical Keyboard is one of the best options in the sub 4K segment. It's quite cheap and by cheap, I mean just the price. The build quality is excellent. The keys are excellent. I have played games on this keyboard for around one month or so. And what I found out during my whole duration was that the keyboard is consistent, performs nicely. The overall weight of the keyboard makes sure that while you're playing, it's sturdy at one location. And the swirling lights all over the place on this keyboard make it look really good while you're playing. Especially if you're somebody who likes to dim all of the lights while playing games, you would appreciate the overall RGB color scheme. You would appreciate the fact that you can change the color so much. And above all, the key quality, construction quality, everything is on point. I think the only thing left on this keyboard is the fact that whether it would perform the same after one year or two years of usage or not. So I will make a dedicated video for that after this is done. So guys, this was it for this video. In case you like this video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Do subscribe to Inspire to Rise. It helps me pay my electricity bills on time. And guys, no matter what you do, stay inspired to rise.